Hello everybody, I am sat here in my pyjamas and just thought, you know what, I think we should have a little chat about my favourite things that I take away when I go travelling. My first thing on the list would be my Revolut card. I really would struggle to travel without it now because it's kind of like a top-up card. You put money from your bank account onto the card, especially if I'm going out somewhere. I just put a small amount of money on the card and off I go. So if I was to lose the card or it was to get stolen, it would only have a small amount of money on it. Also, you get a virtual card which stays on your phone as well as a real card that you can take with you as well. And I find that really useful as well. Also, when you use it in the ATMs in a lot of places abroad, they don't actually charge you ATM fees. So that's something really good as well. Now, my second thing is <laughs> it's slightly mad because actually I wasn't going to take it when I went last year. And that is my umbrella. I threw it in at the last moment. Not this one. I had another one. This one is smaller, but it's also a rain umbrella and a sun umbrella up to 50 as well. So if I'm lying on the beach and I just want a bit of shade or if I'm doing a walk, I'll stick this in my pocket and it's just nice to give you some shade as well if you're walking along. I don't think I would ever travel now without one just because it's come in so handy. And the one I had last year, I broke the wrist strap to as well. So yeah, this is very light. I will add the link down below for you. The next things, they're kind of two in the same one and that's noise cancelling headphones. Now I thought it was a bit of a gimmick really, but actually I have got two. I've got my Apple AirPods, which are great, but the battery doesn't last as long as my over the head earphones. These last for absolute ages. And when I'm editing my videos, I use these as well. And on the plane, I use these because these also come with a cord so you can plug them in. And as well, they can come with the adapter so you can connect them to the aircraft. So Whereas with these, you need another adapter. And I've seen some people having the adapters where you can connect your Bluetooth to the aircraft. I don't have one. So the corded one with my over-the-ear headphones are, yeah, they're good for me. They're much better than the free ones that you get given as well. And if you get a crying baby or anything else, these are an absolute godsend. The next thing is my glasses, but I found these in a store in the UK called Poundland. They were actually, I think, three pounds, but they are so flat and they fit in my bum bag really well. Um, they're just very flat glasses and I use them all the time. So they just come in really, really handy rather than a big pair of glasses. And I actually have two pairs of these this time, just in case. And I know they say never take a just in case, but glasses, just in case. You've heard me mention this next one quite a few times. And it is my washing line. It's an elasticated washing line. This one is the one that actually I replaced because I lost one while I was traveling and it just has two little hooks that I can hook over. I can dry laundry, but what I usually use this for is when I'm in a hostel and I want to have a curtain between me and the next bed, I just loop this up and then I put a towel or something over just to give me a little bit of privacy. This year, I've actually bought a second one as well. This one has little plastic hooks on it and it also has like a 
carabiner type end as well. I'm not sure how successful this one's going to be, but I have two this year. The next one is my Balinese fan that I bought. I complained like crazy when I bought this from the lady in Bali. I used it every day after I bought it. The electric ones are fine, but in all honesty, this is great. It's got a little hanging hook. I use a carabiner. I clip it onto me. The number of places people have looked at me and gone, oh, I wish I had a fan. And yes, it's big, but it actually gives out a really nice cool breeze as well. So I wouldn't leave home without this now. The last thing is a packable day pack. The one I had last year was an Eagle Creek one and it was really nice. This one's much bigger. I might try and see if I can find something smaller because although this is a really good backpack and it feels really quite sturdy, it is quite big and seeing as I want to do one bag travel this time, I think what I might do is see if I can't find a slightly smaller one, but I would never not travel without a foldable backpack and also a shopping bag as well. They come in really useful. So you can either use one of these, but I tend to use a foldable little bag, shopping bag as well. And I also then put my laundry in that and send it off to the laundry and then they wash the laundry and the bag and everything. So those are my top, I don't even know how many there are. Those are my top travel essentials that I will not be traveling without. I hope you found this useful. If you have and you like the content, hit the like button because it really does help me. It helps YouTube push this out to other people and also hit the subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, but it just means the world to me. So happy travels and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.